in this first Excel Level 1 online segment, we're going to talk about terminology and navigation. Now, the way we're going to do that is the first working page in your workbook that you're going to notice is a uh, Excel screenshot on the top of the page uh, that has all these different letters that point to these different things. Uh, and then on the bottom of the page, you have a table, a grid, if you will. We're going to write in right next to the letters what those different things are. So let's get started. This area right up here at the top of the spreadsheet that gives you the column letters and the row numbers. This area that indicates the column letters and the row numbers, this area is known as headers, column headers and row headers. So on line A in the grid down towards the bottom of your page four, write headers. They display the column letters and the row numbers. Now the second thing that we want to talk about is what these different boxes are called. These intersections of columns and rows, these are the most basic building blocks of Excel spreadsheets. You can put different things uh, in these cells is what they are, C-E-L-L. -L. They are intersections of columns and rows, these individual boxes called cells. So on line B, just write cell or the word cell, C-E-L-L. -L. Now we are in cell A1. One of the ways that we know we're in cell A1 is right up here towards the top, we have this uh, little box that indicates the currently active cell, the name of the currently active cell. Now I have my mouse hovered over here and it's going to tell you very clearly that this is the name box, the name box. And so this will be the answer to C, the name box. It displays the name of the currently active cell or the top cell or the first cell you clicked in a range of cells. So here you see I've selected cells A1 through C4, but still the name box up here is displaying the name of the first cell that I clicked, which is A1. Now, up here to the right uh, of the name box, you're going to find this area that displays the contents of the currently active cell. Now, it's the number 100, so you see the number 100 down here, but you also see it up here in the formula bar. So the answer to D will be the formula bar. Now let's turn our attention up here to this area that has all sorts of different Excel functionality. I'm clicking on these tabs up here that open up these different ribbons. These up here are called ribbons, and they have all sorts of different buttons that do different things, like this is the font group of the home ribbon. And in the font group, you can do things like make things bold, make them italic, underline things, or of course, turn all those different things off. You can put borders, fill color, font color, do all sorts of different things up here in the uh, ribbon area. So right next to the letter E, write ribbon, ribbon. Now, these different tabs up here that open up different ribbons, like this was the home tab that we were messing around with down here, but this is the insert tab. And in the insert tab, you have different graphic options and different things you can do. On the page layout tab, as we'll learn later, there are different things that you can do with uh, printing and some of the other ways that you can kind of lay out your information and make it look good when it gets printed out. The formulas tab, all these different ribbon tabs up here open up different ribbons. So next to the letter F, write ribbon tab. Now, let's turn our attention down here uh, to cell A1. Now, I'm actually in cell A1. I know that for three different reasons. The A is highlighted and the 1 is highlighted in the header area. It says A1 up here in the name box. And then we have this box that's currently around A1. Now, a lot of people, when they look at that box, they think, well, that's a border. Well, it kind of performs the same function as a border uh, in that it's highlighting something. But this is highlighting something that's active so that if you format it or do something with it, it will be done to what's highlighted. So this box right here, whose purpose is to mark the currently active cell or range of cells, this box that currently surrounds cell A1 is known as a marquee. Now, I'm going to tell you how to spell that one. On line G, write marquee, M-A-R-Q-U-E-E. -E -E. Now, right below that, let's talk about one of these ribbon tabs up here. The file tab 
is the ribbon tab. Now it's green, so it's kind of special, right? Has things like save, save as, open, close. We'll talk a little bit more about the file tab here in the next segment. But the answer to line H is going to be the file tab. It has a lot of this core functionality and some of these core settings that we can play with in Excel to make Excel work just right for us. So on line H, write the file tab. Now I'm going to hit escape to get away from the file tab. And what I want you to notice is that we have all sorts of different buttons that we can choose from up here. But the buttons that we want to be able to use all the time, we're going to put on this special toolbar that Excel has given us that I'm going to explain um, here in a future segment. Uh, this special toolbar that we put buttons on that we want to use all the time is known as the Quick Access Toolbar. Now you don't have to write all that out. What I want you to write on line I is the QAT, short for Quick Access Toolbar. And the whole purpose of this thing is to put the buttons on here that you want to use all the time so they're quick access. So you can see uh, where to go uh, to get them. We'll talk more about this um, in a future segment. Now down here at the bottom, these individual tabs down here open up different worksheets with all sorts of different information on them. All right, so these tabs down here, these represent individual worksheets. So on line J on your table, an individual spreadsheet in Excel with rows and columns and data, we actually call that a worksheet. So the terms worksheet, which is what you want to write on line J, and spreadsheet, are actually synonymous. They mean the same thing. So sheet, worksheet, spreadsheet all mean the same thing. Now, a group of worksheets all saved in the same file. This file is called Excel Power Up Official Excel Class File. The actual file that has up to hundreds of potential worksheets in them is known as a workbook. So on line K, please write workbook workbook is a collection of worksheets all saved in the same file. Now, let's say uh, these salaries here that are in this HR table. By the way, when we look at this in future segments, don't worry about these social security numbers. These are not real and all of these people here listed are members of LifeLock anyway. So these social security numbers don't matter for two reasons. Uh, but let's say I want to know what all these salaries add up to uh, in this HR database. So if I highlight all these salaries with my marquee, one of the things I could do is I could write a formula or a function. We're going to learn about that later. Uh, but one thing I could do to just quickly get that information is look down here on the bottom of the screen to this area known as the status bar. And down here you'll see $1,128,000 is the total. $85,000 is the largest salary. The smallest one is $42,000. There are 21 total people or salaries listed here, and the average is $53,714. This area down here at the bottom of the screen that has a lot of really cool information on it, here for this information that I've highlighted, is going to be the answer to line L on your table. It is the status bar. Now that you know about that status bar, you guys, you can get all sorts of quick information just by highlighting some cells and finding your answers right down here without having to write a formula or a function uh, to get that information. Now finally, if you want to bring up Excel's help function, you can do that in a couple of different ways. Up here in the uh, top right corner of the screen, you'll see you can click that question mark or you can hit the F1 key. Now if I go ahead and hit the F1 key, um, what it will do is it'll open up the help dialog box and I can go in and type my question like uh, what is a function and Excel will come back and give me some information about what functions are. A lot of people have different opinions about help. Uh, once you learn how to speak the language of help, it can be very helpful. But if you're one of those people and one of those Excel users that does not find help to be very helpful, just let me know and I can point you to some other help resources that you might find more valuable. So that's it. Line A is headers. Line B is cell. Line C is name box. Line D is formula bar. Line E is ribbon. Line F, ribbon tabs. Line G, marquee. 
line H, file tab, line I, QAT, line J, an individual worksheet, line K, a file or a workbook, line L, the status bar, and line M, help. Hey, and guess what? We're off and running with this online training. If you have questions, make sure and let me know, but we'll see you in module two where we talk about the file tab.